Broadcasting live from Skybreen on the plain of Kalbheim, this is Tap Tap Concede. Welcome back to Tap Tap Concede, everybody. Hooray! It has been a little while, uh, but we've been all over the place doing all of the things. I'm back on Tap Tap Concede. I haven't been here for a couple weeks. It's true. I was doing things mm-hmm. and then I uh, was uh, sick, but now I'm here again. Yes. Right. And that is Kathleen, and I'm Graham, and Paul is here. I am Paul. Yes. I uh, used to work on a, a show called Voice of the Province. Oh, and yeah. So we'd always go like, welcome to Voice of the Province. You know, we hope you make it your voice. So I always think like, Tap Tap Concede. We hope you make it part of your concession. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go down to the lobby. I came Let's close to. Let's all go to the no, lobby. Don't go to the lobby. Stay here and listen to the podcast. Yeah, I'll I came I, with I, you. I came close to a tap tap concede the other day, but I decided to just uh, volcanic geyser myself. <laughs> Which is certain yes. it's like a, it's like a more fancy concession. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It took a, it. I cast it, and my opponent sort of shatter paused for like fifteen seconds, probably he's being like, like, "Is he doing something fancy here?" <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No, like, no, I think he's just being dumb. Yeah. So. Is there, th- there isn't, a, like in Magic Online or something, there isn't actually like a, a game player point difference between dying and conceding, right? Or no. Like, no. Or suiciding or no. conceding. No, does, does not matter. Yeah. Um, I actually, I had a, uh, before we get into our main uh, topic, I had a game last night on our um, live stream where my opponent and I each had Molten Birth. And I think... We each, or I, I think between the two of us, we won a total of like... 10 flips or something? Possibly more. It was nuts. I've never seen people win so many flips in a row. Wow. So yeah. what, what did that end up doing? Like, uh, I had a lot of... Molten birth elemental tokens. Well, it, it's it. We used them to like we chumped with them. We traded with them. I played a shadowborn demon. I used them to sacrifice the shadowborn. They demon. were incredibly useful. Yeah, mm. I don't. I said heads every time, and I won like eight or nine times in a row. Mm. So there's randomness for you. Yeah, I'm just saying. Well, welcome to um, our first episode back after PAX. I know PAX Whee! was about a week or two ago at this point, but um, this is the Crack a PAX episode because many people came up to us at PAX and uh, donated um, PAX to Crack, and we wanted to... Uh, yeah, it turns out uh, if you want magic cards, start a podcast <laughs> where you open magic cards and people will just send you stuff. Yeah, and so we, w- we wanted to um, open a, uh, a nice little variety of some of the packs that we were given and uh we'll we'll uh we'll reveal them as we go but you'll want to i think you'll want to stick around but we will begin with a pack of the dark Woo! so spooky and i know that we've done packs of the dark before this is awesome for my inner goth this one's actually (laughs) this one's actually like i don't know if this happened since he gave it to us but this is actually like popped open like this, it's just completely. That's some serious security right there. Yeah. Well, the, the maybe he messed with our pack. The plastic gets old. I don't think so. I hope not. All right. First up from the dark. This is from 1994. All almost, right. Almost 20 years ago, City of Shadows, uh, which is a land. Oh, it's a rare. Oh, cool. Uh, tap. Sacrifice one of your creatures by, but removing it from the game Ooh. instead of placing it in your graveyard. Okay. So we- exile. We did not check this beforehand. Exile. Oh, the where the thing is lined up. Yes. Oh, it's different because there's three of us, and I moved the camera over. Um, so exile one of your own creatures and put a counter on City of Shadows. Tap add X colorless mana to your mana pool, where X is the number of counters on City of Shadows. That uh, actually seems pretty good. It could be interesting. Well, considering, like at the power level of the dark. That's actually not bad. Like, I could see that actually totally being a card these days. Yeah. Oh, you're going to kill my guy? I'll just tap and exile him. Yeah, like response. a sack outlet could be a cool thing. Okay. I'm excited. It's Uncle Istvan. Hey. Hello, kids. Welcome to the dark. I'm Uncle Istvan. Oh, keep sc- you had it. Uncle Istvan casts for one black, black, black. He is a Von 3, and all damage dealt to Uncle Istvan by creatures is reduced to zero. Uh, he's been uh, oracled to a human, 
as opposed to an uncle is to Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was hoping he would be like summon uncle. <laughs> um, Sunken City. It is a global enchantment for blue blue. They do not do those anymore. No. Well, it's it's it just it's just an enchantment. I guess I don't need to say global enchantment. It's just an enchantment. Wor- world enchantment is a different thing. Right. Right. Yeah. Enchant world. Yeah. Uh, all blue creatures get plus one plus one. Sounds good. If you do not pay blue blue during your upkeep, sunken city is destroyed. Sounds so, bad. Interesting. I mean, even the oracle text is not actually um, upkeep. Like it's not it's not like a um, oh like a cumulative or not no, no like upkeep blue blue yeah yeah I wonder there's probably some weird in rules interaction that makes that slightly different hmm. I mean that would probably be fine in like a merfolk commander deck yeah except it's all blue creatures yes yeah oh no marsh goblins one one for black red with swamp walk oh. and counts as both a black card and a red card. Mm. Also, some weird Quentin Hoover art on that one. I like they don't even bother with the black card and red card. That's just a standard thing now. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, cards I've seen in Commander decks, Gaia's Touch, which is misprinted, actually. All the the, uh, text and everything on this is like offset. Uh, Guy's touch. You may play one additional land. You may put one additional land into play during each of your turns, but that land must be a basic forest. Oh man, I totally, I totally had this in one of my decks. Yeah. That seems really awesome in like an elf deck. You may sacrifice Guy's touch to add green, green to your mana pool. Yep. But look at how it's printed. Everything's to the left. Oh, weird. Down, down yeah. into the left. That has the highest star rating of any of the cards we've looked at so far. Yeah. By the way, it's going to be higher than Goblin Digging Team. Ooh, I remember those guys. Subtype digging team? <laughs> Summon goblins. Oh. Uh, one one for one red. Tap, sacrifice goblin digging team to destroy a target wall. Yep. Destroy a thing. Walls that... were more common back then, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was, they were just, that was the thing that had defender, was a wall. Yeah. Uh, I, is it now target creature with defender? Nope. It's still target wall. Because <laughs> wall is still a creature type. I know. But... That's just it's funny. just way less powerful. Specific wall hate. This is the third goblin in this pack now. Scarwood goblins. Goblins. They goblins. Are, they are bears. It is 2-2 two, two for green-red. Counts as both a red card and a green card. Ooh, I remember these guys too. Oh, sick. Speaking of cards and commander decks, <coughs> this last one is the card that I run in my The Forest Itself Tree Folk deck. Ooh. Uh, purely for the flavor. <laughs> it is the Dark Heart of the Wood. Uh, dark Heart of the Wood casts for black green. Uh, you uh, oh. counts as both a black card and a green card. Oh yeah! Sacrifice yeah. a forest to gain three life. Not actually good. No. That's what a, what a weird pack. Yeah. It's like there's three gold cards in it. If that was sacrifice a forest. To do three damage <laughs> to a cre- to a, like a player, well, it, it in green black it would be target player loses three life. Right, it would be life loss. Ah, not damage. Hit my but, elbow. Hmm. Oh, right. sacrificing a forest is not worth. I think if I was going to take something, uh, I might. Uncle Istvan is cool, but I don't think I want to commit myself to a three black, bl- to like a black, black, black card right away. What is wrong with Uncle Istvan? Uncle Istvan is fine. Uncle Istvan hard to cast. Okay. Uh, uh, Uncle Istvan probably uh, dirtling around in back of hand for a long time. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm probably going to take the City of Shadows if that wasn't there. I would take the Gaia's Touch because ramp is good and mm-hmm. it's cheap. Yep. I wish City of Shadows like came into play with one counter on it just so you could use it to some extent like the turn like the turn it comes into play you can't actually use it for anything Mm -hmm. which is a shame all right that pack was only eight cards so i will do the next one as well and then kathleen maybe you can do the one after that oh um and uh, so the next one is a pack of homelands hooray oh look at this a few of those magic the gathering game homelands booster a dollar 75 Probably still retailing for a dollar seventy-five. Probably. 
What secrets will you uncover as you venture into Homelands? Oh, yeah, look, that is actually the MSRP from when it was originally. Well, that notice that 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 tag was printed in 95. Oh, yeah, it's dated. 1023 according Crazy. to So the is this the set that came out right after the dark? Uh, I, they do. I was watching Mark Rosewater do the twenty years of magic in twenty minutes thing, and they released a whole bunch of sets in their first couple of years. Mm. So I don't actually know. And these weird, like half size sets. Yeah, or half size boosters anyway. Yeah. I mean, this was before limited play was a thing, so they didn't have to worry about stuff like draft. But this was before you know power level was a thing. Shh. <laughs> it's Aaron. It's Aaron the Relentless. Ooh. A A R N. Nope. E R O N. What? Yeah. Right. He is a 5 2 for 3 red red. Uh, and with haste. Or Aaron the Relentless can attack the turn it comes into play on your side. Oh, yeah, I remember him. And uh, red, 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 regenerate. Regenerate in red. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Before the they got that uh, color pie thing. Well, the, this is the like. If something is outside the color pie, you can still do it, but it's way expensive and sucks. Yeah. System. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which it's the like hornet sting is also part of. Ugh. Yeah. I hate hornet sting. Uh, how about the Anhava Constable? He is one green green for a two yeah. one plus star. Mm-hmm. Anhava Constable has toughness equal to one plus the total number of green creatures in play. That is a rare, by the way. Mm-hmm. That is okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, like, except it's toughness and not star star. But yeah. yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I can see situations where he would be a really good blocker, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like there are elf decks that have elves that are very similar to that, except they're star star instead of. And that's what makes those good cards yeah. that you want to play. Just having a big butt doesn't necessarily help that much. Oh man, are you guys ready for <gasps> summon ferrets? Oh, the ferret! It's Joven's ferrets. They're a one-one for one green. Whenever they attack, they get plus O plus two until end of turn. At the end of combat, tap any creatures that block Joven's ferrets. Those creatures do not untap during their controller's next untap step. It's actually not that bad. It's actually got a higher rating than the Anhava Constable. Yeah, like they, they seem more useful. Cause they do like a frost breath effect on guys. Kinda, yeah. I mean, they're only one one, so the chance of them surviving the attack is fairly low. Well, they but when they attack, they become wow. a one, they become a one three. Okay, oh, I know true. magic art has improved a lot, but <laughs> yeah. and I'm not saying that I am some sort of superior artist, but I could easily draw a better picture of three ferrets. <laughs> yep, and a frog. I think isn't there a frog uh, in the lower left? There's a frog and like some sort of like butterfly. Like this looks like that. now. No offense, Amy Weber. I'm sure you've come a long way, but this looks something I would have drawn when I was like 15. I like to imagine yeah. the reason why... I might draw, like, new art for Joven's ferrets. You should. And put it up. I'm going to like just take that and put it aside. See, no, but... Mm. What? I, I like to imagine that it's the reason why everything is tapped is just because they have, like, ferrets running all over them. They're like, ah, <laughs> ah, I have ferrets in my clothes. <laughs> get them off, get them off. I like it. Skinny weasels. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of walls, uh, Dark Maze is a creature, not not a land. It is a 4-5 for 4 and a blue. For 0, Dark Maze can attack this turn. At the end of turn, remove Dark Maze, or exile Dark Maze. Dark Maze cannot attack the turn it comes under your control. Is this the, do you have the other picture? There's I, two pictures I do, of it. yeah. I have the, uh, uh, you click on variations under the image. See, it ah. says other versions. Right. But you got the other one. Uh, 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 what? Yeah. Oh, weird. Well, I have the art you don't have. This one? No, that's the fifth no. edition. There's right? like a... It's got like a badger man. Huh. Yeah, it, this has two variations and they're both the same. You have hmm. failed us, Gatherer. Anyway, that's a weird card. Uh, oh, hey. It only costs zero to do, though, so it's not so bad. This one's good. Memory Lapse. Oh, hey. Remember, remember Memory Lapse? Well, Memory Lapse has been reprinted, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One in a blue, counter target spell, put that spell on top of its owner's library. Seems pretty sweet. Boop. Do you have this one, too? or is it the No, one? it's the, the, the puzzle head lady. What the... Where, hmm. where are the versions working? Well, there's Memory Lapse. The With more the recent one you probably one. remember seeing. Yeah. So that was last in uh, seven. Oh, no. That was in 7th yeah. and also in Mirage. Yeah. 
Uh, cemetery Gate is a 0 5 wall for two and a black with protection from black. Oh, there's two memory lapses. Yeah. In that, no, in that list. Yeah, they're. But it's not showing up the. Yeah. yeah it's weird. Is that the cemetery gate you've got? Yeah. Oh, uh, this one shows both. Hmm. I like that the wall is the gate, not the actual like wall around the gate. <laughs> yeah, it's the gate that's the what's stopping you. Zero five pro black. I oh, get I, I get it because it's a cemetery gate, so it's keeping the zombies inside. Right, so right. So it's got protection from black. I like that. But it's also a anybody black else. Card. You know, just be like thinking about the Smiths right now. No. No. Sorry, I'll meet you at the cemetery gates. I can't do a very good Morrissey, but... <laughs> uh, Dwarven Trader. It's a one, one for one. <laughs> Yay. That's all you get. This is curious, though. The uh, We have the other one, if it matters. The... Uh, nope. <laughs> um, the flavor text on the Dwarven Trader that we have <clears throat> is they wouldn't sell their own families, at least not for cheap. Attributed to Zeki, a reef pirate. And our last card is Reef Pirates. Ah. Uh, summon ships. <laughs> <laughs> reef Pirates are a 2 2 for one blue blue. Whenever they damage an opponent, take the top card of their library and put it into their graveyard. There's or called to Zombie Pirate, which is a way better name. <laughs> right. Or a way better creature type. Yeah. The, the the one that I have has the flavor text. Zeki set er, Zeki sails with a dead crew, not out of villainy, but pragmatism. Attributed to Baron Sengir. Nice. Those are all terrible. I guess I'll take Aaron the Relentless or Memory Lapse or something. I guess they're not terrible, but... Yeah. Those are weird. And that's what you get for guinea home rides. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we got given some other better packs. Ugh. If I saw this, I'd just maybe just leave the draft. Uh. Uh, Kathleen, would you like to open... You're, yeah, remember that you're in a Homelands draft. Yeah. Go home. Would you like to open this pack of Betrayers of Kamigawa? We I were, would. We were Actually, no, gifted. I'm going to take the Joven Ferrets out of that pack of Homelands so right, I can sure. draw better ferrets. I'll put Cute. them up on the Loading Ready Cute Run blog. Ferrets. Nice. All right. So Betrayers of Kamigawa, much more recent. Uh, Betrayers is the one with... Gta, it's Gta or top. I can't remember. All sorts of good stuff and just a fun, flavorful set. I think. You want to? Yeah. All right. First up, Blade Main Baku, nice. which looks like a thing that's covered in knives. Also, its mouth is knives and its tongue is knives. It's a spirit. Seems it's please. a one one for one red and one. Okay, I'm not buying it yet. Well, fails the vanilla test. Whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, which there are a lot of in this set, you may put a key counter on Blade Main Baku. Okay. For one, and remove X key counters from him. For each counter removed, he gets plus two, plus O until end of turn. Okay. That's key as in K I. Yeah. Yeah. That is a lot of work. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot of work, and you're not dut buffing his toughness, so he still trades with everything. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess that means he, like, trades up for a big guy because he does, like, you know, like... He... That's only if you're playing a bunch more Spirit and Arcane spells to put the key... But, in. I mean, well. there's probably... You're go probably going to play a lot of Spirit and Arcane, and you could, like... And it's only one, and you can remove as many as you want. So you remove, like, four, and he becomes, like, oh, that's a true. nine one. Right, you don't have to pay one for each counter you remove, so right? that's good. So he know. becomes, like, a nine one. Eats their, bo their big guy. Yeah. But dies. Like, I could see him just kind of, like, bring coming out turn two and just kind of sitting on the battlefield for a long time oh, and yeah. building up a ton of counters. Yeah, sorry, that's a good point. I totally thought that it was one for each counter, but it's one and you can remove, remove as many as you want. Yeah. I mean, it's still yeah. not good. Yeah. No, but I... Because he doesn't live after that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but hey, what about his cousin, the Quillmane Baku? Oh, no. He is also a spirit. Okay. Baku, he is, Baku. Uh, unlike his uh, tiny cousin, he's quite large. He's a 3-3, three, three, but for 5, that's 1 blue and 4. And uh, same, uh, same first ability. Whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, you may put a key counter on Quillmane Baku. Now, for 1 and tap Quillmane Baku, remove X key counters from him. Return target creature with converted mana cost X or less to its owner's hand. Mm. Still a lot of work. A lot of work for an unsummon. 
I and mean, you got to tap him. A three three for five <laughs> is is not great. It's runnable, and especially like in blue, it's more yeah. so. But I mean, think about this: you're already like at the soonest you are playing this is turn five, right? You are not going to get counters on this guy nearly as quickly as he'll get counters on the blade main. Yeah, it's ba- true. Uh, Baku. All right, so, and you got to tap him to do it. Kind of poopy. Moving on. Don't like it. Uh, scaled Hulk. He's a 4-4 four, four for 6, 1 green and 5. He's also a spirit. Whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell, Scaled Hulk gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Oh, that's so funny. he's a 6-6 six, six for 6 kind of conditionally. Now that's more reasonable. But I like that. Now whenever you play a spirit and then like we have like every single creature has been spirit, right? Mm-hmm. There are a lot of spirits in Kamigawa. So if or, you played Yeah, or you do like a a couple like splice into arcane things. Yeah. Uh, and ding, 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 ding. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, yeah. Yeah, so you, you could easily probably make him a 10-10. This guy's like the, um, mm. the, be, what's it, the, the flame tongue. Cosmo? What's it? Yeah, the, the guy who, who, gets, who got bigger when you did direct damage to people. What was uh, that guy? That's a different guy. Um, which one? Oh, flame tongue. Oh, you mean recently? From, yeah, from like M3, oh, M12 uh, or something. Oh, Chandra Spitfire. Oh, maybe that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. If you deal, or if you cast a... Uh, Hang on. Whatever it is. Anyhow, I mean, right now, Scaled out, Hulk, despite being a six drop, is my pick out of this pack. Yeah. Sorry, Chandra Spitfire is um, uh, whenever you can. Yeah, whenever an opponent is dealt non combat damage, right. this, uh, the Spitfire gets plus three, plus O oh until end of turn. And it's a one three flyer. Right. So, I mean, this guy's sort of in the same realm where you, could, you like attack with him and then you like giant growth, wind splice into arcane, mm-hmm. and now he's huge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right like now, yeah. this pack so far has been a little like uh, creatures are not doing so well in the vanilla test, right? Yeah. How about a three three for three? Seems okay. Reasonable. What's the, the what's the downside? Uh, well, the Takenuma Bleeder Ugh. is a three three for two and a, for two and a black. We got a bleeder. But whenever he attacks or blocks, you lose one life if you don't control a demon. Right. There's that whole demon ogre synergy. Right. Right. Because they're not, they're different ogres. They're not ogre mm. ogres. I don't know if I'm going to play a card that has a downside so I can get a 3-3 three, three for 3. Uh, you might you might want to. Yeah. I Ooh. mean, this is different with creatures. All right. How about 100 Talon Strike, which is an instant arcane spell. Uh, it is one white. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 0, oh, and gains first strike until end of turn. With Splice onto Arcane. Tap an untapped white creature you control. I want to, for flavor reasons, put the 100 Talon Strike on the 100-handed one from Theros. Does that mean he gets 100 Talons on each hand? And uh, he become, it becomes a 1,000 Talon Strike? <laughs> well, oh he God. can block up to 100 creatures with first strike, which is pretty good. Okay. So uh, the, the that'd, be a, that'd be a 10,000 Talon Strike. Right. All the right. S- the Spice and Arcane is kind of interesting on this. You tap an untapped white creature you control rather than actually paying more mana. Interesting. Uh, how about a Shinka Gatekeeper? He's a 3-2 three, for 3. Uh, one red and two. He's an ogre warrior. And whenever he is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to you, which makes him bad. That seems very bad. That seems awful. I mean, wow, yeah. Why like do we even have this creature? <laughs> like that's the. I would not take that. That's the Jackal Pup ability, but the reason it's good on Jackal Pup is that Jackal Pup is a two-one for one. Right. This guy is below curve. Yeah. Yeah. No. Thanks. Like he's not even as good as that. Uh, Did you see that they've spoiled a um, a card for Theros? That's uh, it's Jackal Pup. Yeah, it's got that same thing. But yeah. at rare and with another ability that I can't remember right now. Yeah. He still doesn't. I don't know the whole like creatures that. Just kind of flow all the damage through back to you. Seem very bad. I would not. I would not willingly play I mean, those. They, unless yeah, they're it's pretty relevant for a very specific circumstance. I yeah. guess. but they're build around. That like cards. defeats one of the big purposes of a creature. <laughs> hey, who likes uh, con- who likes who likes failing the vanilla test? How about <laughs> crawling filth? <laughs> it's a two-two. Okay, Dirt. guess that's how a, much it costs. That's another good metal band name. Don't bring it up yet. Guess how much it's a two-two for. Um, seven, five, six. Oh, halfway. Two, between. two for six. Five and one black. So it's very easily splashable. <laughs> he has fear. He can only only be blocked by black creatures or artifacts. Okay. But he also has soul shift five. When this is put into a graveyard from play, you may return target spirit spirit card with converted mana cost five or less from your graveyard to your hand. 
If it was to the battlefield, you would consider playing. But like a regrowth, return a card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, is like a two mana spell. Yeah, like it's not. And this only hits spirits, and only if converted mana costs five or less, and only if this thing dies. Yeah, Blech. and otherwise he's a a two two fear for six. This pack is awful. Uh, Hope we get a GTA. Uh, how about a Silver Storm Samurai? It's not a GTA. Well, no, because we're still in the commons. Still, it's a three three for six, two Ooh. white and four. What the hell? But. You it you may play Silverstorm Samurai anytime you could play an instant, so it has flash. Okay, okay. Okay, so surprise, and b- with Bushido 1, when this blocks or becomes blocks, it gets plus 1, plus 1 till end of turn. So it's basically 4-4 four, four with flash, because you're going to flash it as a blocker. Yep. I think it's still a little overcosted at 6, but... I think so, too. It's, it's, it's okay. Mm-hmm. To, like, it is... It's okay. What were the what, in Final Fantasy twelve? What was uh what was what's her face's name? What Freya? Freya, the the bunny girl. Like clearly, yeah. this is the same thing. The foxes in Kamigawa do look kind of like the whatever she was. Yeah. Hmm. What was she? Start with the V. Yeah. The. And they were only female for some reason, and it was like, how do you make more of you? But anyhow, that's besides know. the point. They're magical. Oh, creatures. sorry, Freya from Final Fantasy IX. No, sorry. I'm talking about what's yeah, her you're, face. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Freya is the Fran. Fran. Yeah, Freya is the dragoon who also actually actually Freya looks even more like those fox creatures. To be to be honest, I think so. Yeah, actually. Are you implying that Final Fantasy sometimes recycles design? Freya is a Burmesian. A Burmesian. All right. Next. Anyhow, I don't mind those guys. I think I'd probably take them out of this pack right now. Uh, yeah, Bushido's that one is that ability that they want to bring back, but they have to figure out a new name for it because they can't just have Bushido in Kamigawa or in uh, like Innistrad or something. Yeah, <laughs> Viera. Viera, that was it. All right, how about the ire of of Kaminari? Uh, of Kaminari, actually, if you're gonna go full Japanese pronunciation, which is every syllable equally. Uh, the Ire of Kaminari, uh, which is an instant for four, one red and three. Ire of Kaminari deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of arcane cards in your graveyard. Oh, I yeah, was really I excited mean, if you've for got, a second. If you've got the arcane deck, I guess it, you know you get some serious damage out of it. I'm not going to like draft that highly, like, though. How, okay, so how many, like, how many arcane spells do you need in your graveyard to make that worthwhile? Uh, well, I've got one... Two. Wait, let me see it. Like if you're doing four We've damage. Got two in this pack. Yeah. Like if you're doing four damage, that starts to become interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Four damage for four isn't great, but. It's not the greatest arcane spell. No. Of course, you can also, you know, you can splice into arcane and all sorts of stuff yeah. like well, that. Well, here's still. something else that'll trigger it. Toils of Night and Day. Briefly, so, I looked it up. There are male Viera, but you never see them in the series, and they live in different settlements. The male and female Viera only communicate when necessary. Weird. Yeah. I'm not going to question it. Uh, it's uh, instant for three, one blue and uh, two and two and a blue. Tap or untap target permanent, then tap or untap another target permanent. You know, I think wasn't this in um, Ravnica and it was bad? It was hidden, hidden Strings. Yeah, Hidden Strings with Cypher. It was that for one cheaper with Cypher. And it was still bad. This seems better. Is hidden Strings do, do two? Yep. It's tap or untap a thing and then tap or untap another thing. Why is this better? Uh, because this is arcane. So you could splice as well? Yeah, you it, could splice that onto something else. Hidden strings, well, you I mean, can theoretically No, you can splice something it. else onto this. It does not have splice onto, un- oh, onto right, arcane. Right. So you cannot splice that for value. I mean, it's not good. Like, no. hidden strings was one of the better cipher cards. No, it wasn't. No, it was awful. No, no, no. No. Hmm. no. I mean, there weren't. I mean, when I say one of the better, like there weren't that many good cipher cards. <laughs> well, no. In in uh, Gate Crash, stuff like um, uh, Shadow Slice was pretty relevant. Uh, like you could actually, you know, you put you put Shadow Slice on an Assault Griffin, and you know, even if your Assault Griffin dies, you get in for nine in a turn. Um, and uh, the uh, in the right deck, the uh, the the Paranoid Delusions, you could get some extra mill out of them mm-hmm. um i'm trying to think of the other like there was a couple actually much more relevant cypher cards but hidden strings it just didn't do enough like you could there were 
corner cases where you could be like, I play it and then I untap the right, land the, that I use to cast it and then I right, attack and then I get to cipher it again. The problem with Hidden Strings is it doesn't happen. It's not like you can tap when you attack. It yeah. happens after you hit. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. And so it was like, eh. Yeah. It was pretty bad. I mean, it was no trait doctoring. Right. But it wasn't. It was pretty bad. Now here's actually a pretty good card. I think this oh, would be a build around. Hands of binding. That was the really good one. Yeah, hands right. of binding was sick. Uh, tap root kami. It's a spirit, and it's a zero star for one. It is a defender, and its toughness is equal to the number of forests in play. Not forests that you control. Forests in play. Well, that guy could get big. Yeah, and it may block as though it had flying. It seems really good, actually. But tap root kami. Tap root comedy. Tra- trap root. Oh, oh trap, trap root. root. Oh, okay. Does it? So it. I'm. I'm. I'm fascinated to see the oracle printing on this. Does it have reach, or is it? Okay, it is. So it's, it does have reach. Okay, block as though it had had flying. Interesting. That seems really good. Like. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly in the mirror match, it starts becoming very interesting. Mm-hmm. But for only one, that I mean, that's good. a that's a pretty solid wall. Yeah. So it's it's, it's an O one on turn one, and it just gets bigger. So uh, was it wall of brambles is it the flying the wall that can block flying creatures i think so yeah yeah but yeah that could be fine Ooh. does everybody like flip cards i think they're interesting all right well how about i don't know if i like them kalo jushi he's a human wizard it's a two two four three one and two blue Whenever you play a spirit or arcane spell which we have established is going to happen a lot yeah you may put a key counter on him at the end of turn, if there are two or more key counters on him, you may flip him, which seems like this is a pretty easy... Can I, can you, uh, on, can you on, rotate? On Gatherer, there's that button. Of the, I think you can flip it. And one more time. Ta-da. There, there you go. And when you flip right. him, he becomes Jiraku the Interloper. Boom. <laughs> uh, and when you remove a key counter from Jiraku the Interloper, counter target spell unless it's controller pays two. So it, become, it becomes a Mana League. Hmm. But he comes just a constant mana leak. Wow. Which is super annoying. You know what's interesting? is I like that it's just like, in its human form, it's just a Jushi. It's just like a guy. He's a, he's a human wizard. But then, at some point, this specific wizard ascends into becoming this, this single legendary creature. Like, his, his essence becomes this one legendary spirit. Because the the spirit is legendary, but the human is not. Mm. So you can have multiple Kalojushis, but, but only one can, only one can be can can be that the embodiment of that spirit at a time. That's interesting. Yeah. So if from a had, from a flavor perspective, if I find you have it one and the other one has and the other guy has one, whoever goes. Well, not whoever, any, not anymore. No, but it, when Kamigawa came out, yeah, it would have been. If you flip yours and they flip theirs, then, then they both die. Then they both die. So once you flip yours, if they flip theirs, then they both die. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's uncommon, so I don't think that's going to come up very much. True. Well, here's not. another card I really like, actually, and the art on this is sick. Uh, Genju of the Cedars. Oh, Genjus are sweet. For one green, it's an enchantment, and you have to enchant a forest. And, sh- and pay two, enchanted forest becomes a 4-4 green spirit creature until end of turn, it's still a land. So if you have two mana up... Mm. You have a 4-4 four, four blocker. I like it. And when Enchanted Forest is put into a graveyard, you may return Genju of the Cedars from your graveyard to your hand. Mm-hmm. A 4-4 four, four blocker or, or attacker. Yeah. But was this... This might have been like one of the first kind of man land... Or not man lands, but... Like, kind of? Like things that wait, sort of wake up land. I mm-hmm. mean, of course, there's like Mishra's Factory and stuff before this, but obviously... and But like this stuff happened way more in like Zendikar and stuff. Well, where... What was the... Um, like the there was the cycle that Gitu encampment is is a part of, um, and what was that from? How do you spell Gitu? Uh, oh, that was from Urza's destiny, or sorry, Urza's legacy. There was a cycle of of the the first man lands were in Urza's uh, legacy, and it was the uh, the Gitu encampment. I don't actually recall the. Uh, I don't I don't actually recall the full cycle. I'm going to look them up. I'm sorry I've been reading these cards so slow, but I'm trying to... Uh, uh, I imagine most of our listeners are not familiar with uh, uh, Betrayers of Kamigawa, so I'm trying I, to... Also, we aren't familiar. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right. Trying to make sure everybody can understand what I'm saying. Uh, next is we have... Our last uncommon is a land, actually. It's God's Eye, Gate to the Rieke, uh, Rie-e- 
Rii Kai. Re- Gate Re- to the Rii Kai. Rei Kai or Rii Re- Kai. Uh, in that like. Oh, because in Japanese. Everything yeah. is its own syllable, and just there is no I K sound. So that that E, which is that? the I sound, is on its own. So it's hmm. Rii Kai. Actually, wait, I'm Kai is wrong. So it'd be Rii Kai to the Rii Kai. Really? Yeah. Because I guarantee you, I would. It's not. Like, a- I would just read that as Reikai. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. Well, I don't know how much they intended for this to have like proper Japanese pronunciation. Okay. I'm remembering I, no, the it's three not years good I took in the sense university. of a card is what I'm saying. Oh, no, I haven't, it's not. I haven't seen it. What's it do? It's a legendary land. Ugh. And you can tap it to add one colorless to your mana pool. But okay. there's more. When it's put into the graveyard from play, put a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit token creature into play. Big friggin' whoop. <laughs> It's not like a one one for every land you have, or a one one for every creature. You, you just he tur- it turns into a one one. I don't. Wow. And then, yeah, it was like so how do you and it's this? a legendary. So, land so too. before we get to the rare, <laughs> I just want to quickly talk about the Urza's Legacy Man Lands. Uh, Forbidding Watchtower was the white one. So they all come into play tapped, and they all tap normally, like just for one, one of their color. Yeah, once they untap. But so Forbidding Watchtower is the white one. For one and a white, it becomes a one five soldier until end of turn. Okay. Fairy Conclave uh, for one and a blue becomes a 2-1 blue fairy with flying. Uh, spawning Pool becomes a, uh, for one and a black, becomes a 1-1 black skeleton with regenerate for one black. The Gitu Encampment, as I mentioned, uh, become for one and a red, becomes a 2-1 red warrior with first strike. And the one probably most people are familiar with, Treetop Village, for one and a green, becomes a 3-3 ape with trample. Mm. Yeah. I and so they were from Ursus Legacy. So they were the first the first I b- I believe they were the first man lands. I believe spawning pool is occasionally relevant still. Mm-hmm. Uh and tree dog village definitely is. Uh sorry about all right. all, so So oh, 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 well, okay, no. Not not the first man lands, because you mentioned Mistress Factory. Yeah. So the earliest and most famous was Mistress Factory, and then there was Stalking Stones in Tempest. Right. And then the Urza I, Legacy cycle. I guess this, what I was thinking about rather than manlands, like the ones that like wake up a land. Yeah, like enchantments that animate a land. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, 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 I've been playing a lot of Shin Megami Tensei Four, and it's really refreshed my memory on Japanese pronunciation. For example, read number seven there. Ikebukuro. Yes, Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro. Mm-hmm. Uh, which you know most people would just say Ikebukuro. But E K Bukuro. E K. E K Bukuro. Well, that was E K Bukuro. I I just remember watching an episode of Iron Chef and listening to the to the difference. Uh, with there was uh, there was one guy named uh, Fuji and another guy named Fuji. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was F U G or it was F U J I and F U J I I, and it was Fuji and Fuji. Nice. <laughs> Because there's the extra e yeah. on the end. Anyway, right. what what it, what is our rare from Betrayers of Kamigawa? Something our friend Jer is probably familiar with. It's Inca Eyes, Servant of Oni. Oh heck! Yeah, legendary creature, Rat Ninja, five four for six, two black and four. So that's not bad. It was recently reprinted in FTV twenty, wasn't it? Uh, he was in. Yeah, from yep. the Vault Twenty. Wow, from the Vault Twenty. Uh, she. she was also in. She. Oh, she was also in Plane Chase. Clearly, clearly, she. Yes. From I the can. massive bosoms. I can't see. No, it from I know here. you can't see it from here. All right. So, uh, okay. So, for one in a block, you can regenerate her. That's pretty good. I will take that. That's mm-hmm. very good. Uh, she has Ninjutsu Five. So for five, that's two black and three, and return an unblocked attacker you control to hand. Put this card into play from your hand, tapped and attacking. Okay, so it's, if I'm attacking the, uh, with anything. Yeah, it's the nope, check test that power. Yeah, and you let it through, <laughs> and I pay five. I can put Inkai's into play instead. So and you, yeah, you thought that was a 1-1? One, one? Nope, check mm. test that. And when, when Inkai's comes into play and then attacks you, when she deals combat damage to you, oh. you may put target creature card from that player's graveyard into oh. play under your control. She's so good. So yeah, that's, so I'm taking that. Good. Yep. Yeah, that's the. Com- uh, she is the commander of Jer's rat deck, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yeah. Seems decent. He attacks with a lots oh, of yeah. rat with a lot of rats, and then he, then he punches in with and he surprises oh, that's you with ink eyes. Then 
I mean, it's not really a surprise because she's just kind of sitting in the command in the zone. command zone, yeah. But well, she's no, always she's... she's always there with like the threat of activation, which means that you have to block even the little one ones, right? I don't know. Does it work? If I don't from think the you can do zone? that if she's not if she's not in your hand. Because she's not in your hand if she's in the command zone. No, you have to put it into play from your hand. In that case, she would be a terrible commander. Well, she's a legendary rat. I think she's in there more for the flavor. Mm. Actually, no. Because the she's not the commander. Yeah, she's in the deck. I, I don't actually. She was the commander. No, I don't actually recall who. No, his commander is the guy that like doubles rats. Oh yeah, of course. Um, Anyhow, she's good. Yeah, she's sweet. I feel I feel that I was a positive remember. pack. Yeah. All right, two more to go. Our penultimate pack. Now we got a lot of really interesting, um, you know, hard to find packs. You know, packs that we've never had opportunity to crack before. Um, and this one we've certainly never cracked before, and probably never will again. Uh, this is from the uh, little-known expansion, uh, Pokemon Black and White Plasma Blast. Uh. So let's crack into this quickly. I, let's move through it fairly quickly. <laughs> yeah. I've taken my time with Kamigawa or with Betrayers because you know. I'm uh, I'm concerned that these cards are not going to show up on the Wizards of the Coast Gatherer site. Yeah, you may have to just use Google for this. Uh, throw. As in throw? T no, T R T H R O H. Uh, he has freestyle strike and shoulder throw. And I think he's a, what is that, force? Force type? Is that the fist? I don't play Pokemon. I don't know. All right, he seems interesting. Is it that guy? Uh, it's a different, no, it's a different throw. God damn it. I mean, it, it's that's, that's the spelling, but it's, uh, there's too many. There's too many different kinds. I guess because there's like a different... He looks like this. Is it that? Nope. No. <laughs> Damn it. They've reprinted throw too many times. All right. Whatever. We'll, here, here, we'll try the next one. That's, That's one the of them. Kangaskhan. <laughs> K-A-N-G-A. K-A-N-G-A. Uh... Uh, S K H A N. If you know anything about Pokemon cards, and if any of these turns out to word? be incredibly yeah. valuable, please let us know because otherwise we'll probably just recycle these. <laughs> there we go. No, left and down a row. That one? No. no. Oh, no, no. At the very, very left. That guy. That's the one. Yeah. Boom. We yeah, got one. All right. Uh, call for family and Comet Punch. Ooh, look at this. Comet Punch. Flip four coins. This attack does 20 damage times the number of heads. That sounds annoying. Wow. Pokemon's a lot higher power game. Uh, I was going to say, that seems very strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, he has 100 HP, so. so Solosis. You have to spell all these. S-O-L-O-S-I-S. -O -O -S. Do you know anything about the Pokemon types? Like that last guy with the white... Do you know what ty type of Pokemon that is? No. Okay. It looks like this. He's a little pea flying through the air. Well, uh, there he is. He's down. He's in the he's in the bottom row, second from the right. That one? I think so. Yeah. Man, there are so many versions of everyone. <laughs> the card sizes are all messed up. He he hides. Look how cute this guy is. He's incredibly cute. All right. Hide. Flip a coin. What is with all this coin flipping shit? All right. I'm going to see if we have anything that we recognize. I've got a Remoraid... A Larvista. Ooh, a foil snow runt. Ooh. Wow, the foil is amazing looking. Is that two words? Snow runt? Nope. Uh, S N O runt. One word. Oh no W. No. Look at the look at the look at the foiling process on this thing. It's so shiny. Okay, which, do you which one is he? Uh, he looks like that. God, there's so many. Oh there we go. Down. And uh, left and one more. That guy, yeah. It's, Ooh, even, it's, a, even, it's even the foil version. Boom. Pokemon Plasma, Grass, Plasma Blast Hologram. There's a lot of coin flipping in this game, which seems bad. All right. Mark Rosewater would like uh, this. I've got a Drift Blim. Um, oh, some sort of fancy one called a Relicanth, who's on Team Plasma that's got like a different card frame than the other stuff. R-E-L-I-C. These are all basic types. Yeah. Spell relic, so far, and relic, like like yeah. a relic, and then anth was one word, and then I've got an electric, like an electric eel, what's and which, a lilip. Which uh, picture looks like this? <laughs> it's like a fancy 3D picture. 
I don't know. I don't know either. Wait, is that him there? Yeah, that's, that's the that's one. Japanese. Whatever. But that's the picture. That guy. He's a relicanth. He has fossil hunt and a water gun. All right. What? We got to, hey, we got to foil snow runt. That's got to be, you know, that's some cash, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> foil snow cash. I hope that someone watching is just like, oh my God, foil snow runt. I kind of doubt that. <laughs> if if we'd got like a foil, like a holographic, like Pikachu or something, I'd be like, all right, all right. Literally, Pikachu is like the only. I know the basic ones. Like I know the basic ones, but like he's the only like like the original. Or maybe or maybe like uh, was it the the one from the movie? I know the ones from uh, Smash Brothers. Mm. Um, like Fatty Sore. Mew. That's what we call Snorlax. Yeah. Mew. Mew, yeah. He's probably worth Anyhow. Probably. Anyway. Welcome to Tap Tap Flip a Coin, your casual Pokemon card podcast. We put you through that because, because the last pack that we have, very excited about this one. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. It is. This is a Japanese pack. So. <gasps> Kaijudo. <laughs> no. This is a Japanese pack of Portal Three Kingdoms. Oh, shit. It's an actual P3K sealed booster. That uh, we we bartered with. You should probably bring up the visual spoiler, Paul. Cause yeah, because I'm not going to know what these things are called. Okay. Um, and this was actually, uh, I remember correctly, this was uh, brought to us by... I was speaking to him on Twitter yesterday. Uh, I like that... Can play games. As in, like, a can, like can play games on Twitter. Now, did the did Portal Three Kingdoms come out after Kamigawa? No. Mm, no. So there may be, like I wonder if there's some relationship there where they're like, oh yeah, there's all this cool Japanese stuff. I don't know. We should do more of that. 1999. Nine. Oh no, I guess except Three Kingdoms is Chinese, not Japanese. Yeah, I mean this is in Japanese, but it was is T3K it? was intended to bring magic to the Chinese market. And the mythology is Japanese. It's Chinese. Yeah. Yes. Get the relicanth off the screen. <laughs> All right. So, very excited here. There's some cards in here that, I mean, I don't know what they're going to be worth in Japanese version, but there's some cards in here that could be worth a lot of money. Let me... In which case, we will we will flip them back into more interesting packs for the Sort for the this show. by color? Yeah. I'm just wondering... If you sort by collector's number, I can... Oh, wait, will the number be on there? Yeah, it yeah, should be. Yeah, in, in English, or in Arabic numerals. <sighs> All right. So bear with us. Number 90. Uh, it is a 1-1 one, one for 1 in a black. That's Number 90? 90. Yeah, 90. collector's number 90. I can't actually read the numbers from here. Oh, of course it's not. It's really small. Well, just keep on going, and I'll point uh, them out. I forgot about the language problem. Oh, wait. No, no, keep going. Mm. Oh, that one. Way Scout. This guy? What? No. Yeah, there. Way no, no, no. Scout. In the middle. In, in the, the middle. middle. That one? Up. Oh. There. That guy. Boom. All right. Uh, you'll have to read him, Kathleen, because I can't read him from here. Uh, creature. Looking. Human Soldier Scout. He has horsemanship. Oh, scoop. Nice. He can't be blocked scoop. By, except by creatures with, with horsemanship. So, so he's a 1-1 one, one for 2 with horsemanship. Alt flying. Yeah, basically. All right, the next card is red. It is a 3-3 three, three for 3 and a red. Wait. And it has... There we, uh, yep. there we go. Up. Okay. Left. Left. That okay. Guy. Yeah, you can drag from there. Boom. Barbarian horde. And he's got nothing. Yep. He's a 3-3 three, three for 3 for 4. So he's a stone giant. Mm-hmm. Or a... It, no, stone Hill giant, hill giant. He's yes. a hill giant. Speaking of three hill threes for four, we have a tiger. Rawr, green. So it's a three three for three and a green. Wait, keep going. And uh, keep going. There's definitely an ability. Is that him? Nope. Nope. Different tiger. A lot of tigers, I guess. Nope. Keep going. Huh. That's him. No. Nope. Must have missed him somehow. There you go. No, it's nope. cheetah. Weird. Is there another page? Where's the rest of the green cards? Oh, there oh. he is. Why is he up there? Stalking hmm? Tiger, because it's sorted by collector number. Just sort it by... Uh, it should should be collector's number 149. Weird. All right, what was the Stalking Tiger? It's sorted... 
Oh wait, it's my name and then click. I don't know how this works. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, what does stalking tiger do? He can't be blocked by. He can't be blocked by more than one creature each turn. So that actually could be good. Yeah. So he's a three three for four that you can't double block. Hmm. All right. I guess because he's like stalking people. Uh, our next card is a spell that casts for three and a white. I'm just going to do this by color instead of collector's number. Yeah, that seems... Uh, wait, stop. It is uh, up and left. Okay. Left. There we go. Yeah. Oop. What does that do? He goes, uh, he's a sorcery. False defeat. Uh-huh. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. So it's like, surprise, he's back. I like that. It's a sorcery. Though. sorcery oh, I should have been able to read that because it's written in... Katakana. So, so, re. Oh. Well, I have another. I took Japanese for a long time in university and then f promptly forgot all I have it. another so, so, re for one in a blue. It looks like it's got a guy arguing with God. Uh, there it is on the left. That guy? Down. No, down one. Yeah. yeah. Extinguish. Play extinguish only in response to another player playing a sorcery. That sorcery has no effect. And that player puts it into his or her graveyard. So counter target sorcery. It's a counter, yeah, counter target sorcery spell. <laughs> is exactly what's on the or wow, Oracle. Wow, I'm glad text. that Portal simplifies things so much. Wait, it's the Oracle says instant. Does yeah, does the card say sorcery? Yeah, but you can't. But you sorcery can, okay. in response so to sorcery. So it is actually it has been Oracle to be because they didn't have instant in Portal to right. make it simple. Yeah. But this is a sorcery you can play at instant speed. So if you were actually like playing it in a tournament, which you can, yeah, then it would be a, an, an instant. So it's it, like all it, interact yeah. all sorts. So it is an instant, but you can only play it in response to a sorcery. Yeah, that's very strange. Um, all right, uh, an uncommon already. And it's a looks like a dragon. It's blue. It's a dragon boat. <clears throat> it's a five four. Wait wait, scroll for up for four scroll? and a blue. That one on the right. That one. No, nope, with, right. the, with the dragon boat. Boop. What's that? Red oh. Cliffs Armada can't attack unless the defending player has an island in play. And he's a 5-4 for 5. So it's got Island Home? I believe so. Is that what that was? I don't know if it was ever given a keyword, was it? Yeah, it was. Oh. I've, never, I've, 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 I've often seen it written like... Or does that mean... if you, No, is Island Home that you have to sacrifice it if you don't control any islands? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If this, is, this is not keyworded ever, I don't no. think. Like, it's, there's a couple of cards from Theros that have that still. Can't attack unless defending player controls an island. All right. Yeah. Let's move on to our next uncommon. It is a sorcery. Yeah. Yes. For yeah. three black black. And it uh, looks like a very emaciated man eating tree bark. There okay. it is on the right. Yeah. Haha. I like Famine. Oh. Famine deals three damage to each creature and each player. For five? Yeah. Da damage in black? Mm, yeah, not life loss, just damage. That's quite a board wipe, Although for, actually. Uh, for uh, Portal, I bet they didn't make a difference between damage and life loss. Mm. Yeah, you're probably but right. Still, that's that's that, I like, that could be quite a sweeper. I like casting that and then going, and it's the so sorry. Mm -hmm. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I think this is our rare. It's green. It's a guy riding a horse. I can't actually tell. Nope. For, not that horse. For one green green, but it's a, but it's but it's a Keep sorcery. It's, it's not a creature. Keep going. There we go. Center. Center. That one. Yeah. Taunting challenge. I don't think, I can't actually choose tell the color. Choose any one. Uh, choose oh, any one creature. This, this turn, all creatures able to block it do so. Oh, it's a lure. That's the rare. Yeah. Weak sauce. There's more cards in here. It's just lure. Yeah. Weird. And two lands, a plains and an island. Aww. Although, to be fair, uh, Portal Three Kingdoms land is worth like a couple bucks each. Really? really? Yeah. Well, all right. Or at least if you want to buy it, Portal Three Kingdoms land is super pretty. It is quite pretty. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I think that's kind of a taunting challenge. Really? Yeah. I think we kind of scrubbed out. I think we kind of scrubbed out. Yeah. Ah well. Oh well. I don't know. I'm we just I'm, I'm just thrilled that we got to open one. Like, how often do you get to open a pack of P3K? Yeah, if anybody wants to send us more Portal 3 games, <laughs> feel free. <laughs> you know how expensive boosters of P3K are? Or if you want to send us any other uh, 
weird language card so that we have to actually use the visual spoiler to find it. We'll we'll work out a better funny. system for that, I think. I don't think there was a better system. Than I think we, we actually did yeah. that pretty efficiently. Yeah, to be honest that was with fine. You. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, hey, thank you uh, to those of you who donated us these packs, uh, even even the Pokemon one. <laughs> I and got a you, little leap. I don't the, know what that means. Watch the holographic snow run be worth more than anything we pulled out of this P3K booster. Like we, I said, if if you know anything about Pokemon cards, <laughs> and one of the things that we mentioned does seem like it's worth a lot of money, please let us know. Because we don't. We'll buy more packs for the show. Yeah. Uh, and we do actually, although we do actually have some other packs still left over, mm-hmm. although they're mostly home lands. No, no, we have a we have a ton we have a ton of extra of cool stuff. We still have a pack of. They are un- still mostly homelands, though. The, we, 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 non-zero amount. We of have homelands. the greatest number of homelands in our that's what, in our pile of packs. That's what mostly means. Well, no, the the, the pile is not mostly homelands. There's like four in the there. The pile though. is mostly non-homelands, oh. but there are more homelands than any other pack. At one point, there was like it was like half homelands. No. You guys must have opened a bunch. I think so. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of Crack a Packs. <laughs> Which is all we did. But next time we'll next time we come back with Tap Tap and see we'll be talking Theros. <gasps> Theros. Which looks pretty cool. And so. uh yeah. Yay. Yeah, and hopefully James will be back for that and we can talk a little bit about our time at the community cup because that was a blast. So Oh yes, do check out the latest episode of Walk into Plains, because James and I have a guest guest appearance in it at the Community Cup event, which was a lot of fun. Sweet. Yeah, it was good times. Moonwalking the planes. Yeah. All right. Thank you all for listening, and we will talk to you next time on Tap Tap Concede. Bye. Bye.